Hey everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card video! We're gonna be continuing Chespin Week, of course, so here we have the Chestnut EX10. And also, back here, I made a throne out of plastic for Chespin to sit in, so he's like chilling in, well, just some packaging content. The throne kept falling apart, so it's kind of sloppy, but whatever. Actually, we're gonna open up this tin and get more plastic to add to the throne. So let's focus back in here, and let's get to it. Now, one thing that kind of sucks is all of the tins in this set, I ordered them all at the same time. I forget where I bought them, but they actually kind of got dented a little bit in shipping. If I could actually get this open, that'd be nice. Good enough, I guess. That'll work. So let me unplastic this guy. And let's go ahead and put this plastic. Let's give him a blanket. Don't suffocate in that chest bin. Just use it as a blanket, dude. All right. So I guess let's take a look at the tin itself first. Let me focus a little bit better here. So there's chest bin. Of course, all these tins, they actually have like this part elevated. So it's actually got some depth to it, which is pretty cool. And here's all the sides. I'm pretty sure all these different tins that we do are going to have all the same art. But there it is. And there's some text on the bottom if you want to pause and read that. But actually, someone suggested something really cool, which I think I might do. Since we're doing a Chespin week, a Fennekin week, and a Froakie week, they said we should take keep track of all the good cards that each week gives us and see which starter gave us the best cards. So I think that's a pretty fun idea. But for now, let's go ahead and pop this guy open. I'll show you the dent. There's where it got dented. You see how this is kind of like caved in? It's supposed to be flat like that side, but that side got kind of crushed in. All right. Whoops. Crud. Already dropping some packs, but let's take a closer look at that chestnut. EX. I think he's another promo card. Yeah, it's promo number 18. So the chest bin we got last time, that was promo number one. So we have promo number one all the way up to 18. So you can see these were these tins were released quite a bit later than those actual boxes. But let's see if we can get this guy out of his plastic thing. Throw that on top of chest bin. Man, I feel like we're being kind of rude to chest bin right now. You know what? Maybe chest bin, we should put the plastic behind him instead of on his face. We don't want to suffocate him. So let's let's go ahead and move that. Sorry, plastic. Yeah, you know, you go sit back there. Chest bin. Are you alright, buddy? Yeah, he's fine. Alright, so here is our sleeved up Chestnut EX promo card. Pretty awesome. But we got a few packs to open here. Wow, looks like we actually have four packs. So we've got a pretty good array here. Uh, we have... Well, first off, here's the tin if you guys want to get that tin online. Uh, but here we have two Flash Fire. We have an X and Y, and we have a Plasma Blast. So let me get back to a better angle. Uh, you know what? Let me move Chestnut forward so you guys can still see him. There you go. So we're at a better angle here. And I actually only need a couple more cards left for Flash Fire, so I'm hoping we get one of those. I need pretty much all the Secret Rares. I need a Full Art, uh, Charizard, EX. I need a few of the Reverse Hollows as well, but I can't remember off the top of my head which Reverse Hollows I need. So there's a Code Card. And let's get to our first Flash Fire pack of the week, or of the month probably. I don't know. Here we have a Metapod. There's Torkoal. Nice. Magnetic Storm. Each Pokemon in play has no resistance. <laughs> There's a Skrelp. Buizel Sui Art. There's a Fletchling. I think this one has like some 3D art. Those mountains look kind of detailed, but it's pretty cool. We have Ponyta. There's an Esper. And there's a Walry in Reverse Holographic Rare. So Chess been giving us a third Reverse Holographic Rare. Pretty sick. And the last card? Ooh, Melotic Hollow. So not a EX pack, but still two things I think that we should count towards Chess been treating us nice. So let's go ahead and get some more of these sleeves out here. A little bit difficult sometimes. So let's just take a whole bunch out and just pull what we need and put away what we don't need later. So let's get these two sleeved up. Eh, get in there. There we go. And let's do Melotic as well. I think this is like my third or fourth of these Melotics. So as far as like what I need for my collection, not the best pull, but basically there's no holographic that I actually need at this point. I only need EXs and Reverse Hollows. So let's get to the second Flash Fire pack. Actually, not necessarily just EXs, but Ultra Rares, you know, Full Arts, uh, Secret Rares. I've got most of it. I think Flash Fire will probably be the first set that I complete. I think I even got, I have all the promos. Like, I... I'm very close to completing even the promos, all of the special cards. Pretty much all I need is a few more cards from the packs. But here we have an Ultra Ball. There's a Dusclops, Sacred Ash, a Duskull, Fletchling, Helioptile, Pidgey, Caterpie. Ooh, Pokemon Fan Club Reverse Holographic. I think I already have that. The last card is a Barbaracle. So just a rare right there. So the way I'm kind of handling the big collection stuff, guys, is... I'm keeping track of like all of the different products that have Flash Fire Packs, for example, and my goal is to open one of each product from like all the Pokemon on this channel. So basically, 
what I want to do is collect, uh, open all of the different things that have flash fire. So I've opened all the flash fire packs that I'll possibly open on this channel. And then after that, then I'll start to like either buy the cards individually or trade for them, stuff like that to fill in the holes. But I feel like it's kind of pointless to buy the cards you need when you've still got packs for the set to open, you know? So here we have a great ball. There's a girder. Oh, this is an X and Y pack, by the way. We have Team Flare Grunt, Skiddo, Scatterbug, Weedle. Wow, three grass back to back. We have a Rhyhorn, Badoof. That's an awesome Badoof. I love that one. We have a Diglett Reverse Holographic. And the last card is. Yo, we got Venusaur EX. All right, getting the grass EX right here in the grass week with uh, Chessman and all that. That's pretty sick, guys. I don't know if we'll. Get the mega of this because we are doing an X, an X and Y booster box, so we might get the mega of this eventually. But that is awesome. We got ourselves an EX in both videos actually, so Monday and Wednesday. So Chespin has been awesome. Look at that guy. Kind of sleeves him prematurely, but let's just go take a close up. These sleeves actually don't really block out the picture too much, they leave it nice and clear. The orange sleeves I have kind of make it a little bit blurry. Here we have the last pack. We're doing a plasma blast here. I'm pretty sure all these packs are going to be the same in the coming coming weeks. Like all the tins are going to have the same pack layout. Of course, the X's themselves will be different. All right, last pack. Let's go. We have ourselves a Team Plasma reversal trigger. There's a rare candy. Caitlyn. She has a fantastic hat. Wow. We have Throw, which I wish was Thor, but close enough. We got ourselves a Surf Kit. He's like testing the water. He's like, eh. oh, it's too cold. We have. Carablast, surrounded by spikes. There's a Golet. There's a Drudagon. Oop. We also have a Mespirit, Reverse Holographic Rare. Holy crud, we're getting so many of those. Very nice. The last card is a Caracosta. So we got two non-holographic rares, a holographic and an EX. So overall, pretty good packs. We have a couple of these guys too. So let's go ahead and look at our, basically all of the cards we got today that were uh, worth sleeving up. Quite a few actually. So here we have of course, we have the Chestnut EX. We've got double EX starters right here. We have the Holographic Melotic and the two Reverse Holographic Rares. So a pretty gosh dang good little tin here. So thank you so much, Chespin. I... Oops, you're supposed to put your fist up, dude. Didn't mean to do that. Anyways, we'll come back on Friday. We're going to do this thing, guys. We're going to do the Chespin deck. I can actually pick it up. We'll do the Chespin deck. We'll actually play some TCG online as well. So finally, we'll get to some gameplay of the actual game if you guys want to see that. So check back on Friday. And I'll see you guys then. Take care.